guys, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today I'm here with a haul. Um, now I'm going to try to go through this quickly. Um, I'm on a bit of a time constraint. School comes out in like 45 minutes so I need to get there in time. So we're going to go through this haul for you. This is all indies actually I'm going to go ahead and say. Um, let's dive in. I'm going to grab up parcels and go through them that way. Oh, the first three are all from Hella's Handmade Creations. Now I recently did a video where I spoke about my buying process for Hella's Handmade Creations and Polish Pickup. So I will link that video down below for you. We'll do Polish Pickup next because um, it explains how I got them here in the UK in case any of you have questions on that. So the first one is from Rogue Lacquer and this is called Thunderbird and this is in the theme um, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. So this is like a, I don't know, like a nudie kind of coloured base with a ton of golden flakes and flecks in there. Um, and a little bit of hollow too so it's not something that's going to jump off your nail and be very eye-catching from afar but up close I feel like it's going to be stunning um, but I don't have a ton of rogue lacquer and I really want to expand and get lots more the other two are girly bits and this is underwater secrets which is a Harry Potter both of them are Harry Potter themed so underwater secrets is this beautiful kind of like murky olivey swampy green and then we have holographic gold glitter in here and then we have multi-chrome flakies as well and um, the other one is called a loss of innocence and this is just everything this is the reason why i put the order in because this was stunning so this is like a, like a sea foamy green mint color and then there is a bit of a multi-chrome kind of shimmer to it and there's opalescent flakies in there and there's multi-chrome flakies in there it's just so soft and dainty and flaky and all the things i like so um all indie sellers will be linked down below as long as with a list of the polishes the polish pickup order is here this is my polish pickup order from february i want to say um when it was duos and i bought so many i had them ordered to jess's house because it was only going to cost me three dollars to ship and she kindly um, helped me get them um so i will try and do these in the duos that would kind of make sense i guess wouldn't it so brands could either do like a duo in one polish or they did a duo between two brands um so the first one i have is actually like a two in one and this is called hiccup and toothless and it's by pretty jelly and hiccup and toothless are from um how to train your dragon and austin loves how to train your dragon i've seen those movies so many times so i kind of picked this up for that reason and this is a beautiful blue jelly base and then it has a ton of i want to say they are glitters to me they look like largish hex glitters in here um it's mainly like the blue and the green and then it's also a little tiny bit of multi-chrome because everything has multi-chrome in these days and i live we then have let me just say i want to try and keep them together so we then have kb shimmer and colors by la Roe. they did a duo together and i think there's a Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart. So the Martha Stewart one is by Colors by La Row. This is called How About a Brownie Dog. Um, and this is a beautiful brown holographic in here. And I really got this because I wanted to get all, if I got one, I wanted to get both parts, parts of the duo. So I really wanted the KB Shimmer. And I thought, well, I've got to kind of go together. And I thought the brown and green together looked really great so that was the colors by la row one and then the kb shimmer one was called faux shizzle and i believe this has the scent i got a scented one and you could buy an unscented one of weed marijuana i think i'm not 100 not even really sure if i would know what it smells like either but this is a beautiful weedy color green kind of what i'm wearing um, and then it has large flakies in here too so really excited about that one but obviously i'm also excited for colors by la row and they're both to me like the big hitter brands like they're two of the big indie brands out there so to see the working together was really fun um let me try again i'm trying to remember because this is like february now that was some time ago i think these two are a pair now um so these are stella chroma and lollipop posse polish and this is the first lollipop posse that i've i've ever tried and these were kind of based off of harry potter and luna love good i believe so i suspect nargles is the stella chroma one and this is like a really ethereal looking polish it's like a really 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 light bluey kind of grey and there's a holographic in there and there's lots of shimmery shift to it really it's kind of like a frosty like not like a frosty finish but it kind of looks like a holographic like frost like fresh snow almost um, so i suspect nargles was that one and then a distinct aura of dottiness was the lollipop posse one and this is a beautiful light blurpily purple with an orange flash to it and then a ton of opalescent flakies in there so very excited to try that this is one of the things i love the most about polish pickup is trying new brands so like i say everything will be down below 
that's only like half the ones I got, honestly. I went crazy. Is that the most I've ever spent on polish pickup? I will preface that by saying. We then have two together. First of all, I had to obviously support my lady Timberlin and with her brand Pampered Polishes, and we went for ketchup. And to go with ketchup, we then had mustard. So Pampered Polishes did ketchup and this is a beautiful ketchup red and then there is a ton of shredded glitter or it could be flakies in there as well, I'm not sure, I think they're flakies. Flakies seem to be in everything these days, glitters really took a back seat. Um, so that was Pampered Polishes ketchup and Rogue Lacquer did um, mustard. Um, so mustard is a beautiful mustard yellow and then it has a ton of really warm flakies in there, like very orange and red. Um, it kind of makes like a spicy pepper, like mustardy kind of flavour. But I, this is the reason why I want to try more Rogue, just because their flaky combinations are just amazing. I only have three left, so I'm feeling like is one another two in one combo? Like I literally cannot even remember at this point. Yes, okay, so I think... Um, the only one he ever feared, um, and this is by Never Enough, and I believe this was like the battle between Voldemort and Dumbledore. I'd have to look that up for when I like swatch it in the future. And this is a beautiful multi-crime with a ton of silver holographic glitters in there. I have tried Never Enough before, mainly Harry Potter ones, but I thought again, like I say, I would pick up the other Harry Potter ones because if you haven't worked it out by now, that influences a lot of my purchases. We then have Bella, Bella Tricks and Molly Weasley inspired ones for the final duo. So Night Owl Lacquer did Molly Weasley and that is Love is a Powerful Magic. And another, like most brands in these days took, I've like amped it up a gear, but Night Owl Lacquer is the one that I've been looking at for a while. And this is, I think it's like a blurple base, but then there is a strong like a rosy flash to it. And then all these um, warm, like again, flakies in here, quite large flakies. So it kind of just looks like this, I don't know, like it does like look like love, kind of makes like the, the pinky red and then the purple and the flakies. Um, I'm really excited to try all of these. And then my first Bees Knees Lacquer in their new bottles, um, and this one, um, like I say, was, is called The Dark Lord's Most Loyal Servant, and this is a Bella Trix inspired one, and this is a very, very, very strong hollow with some flakies in there, and it's made like a murky kind of teal colour. Um, so yeah, that was that massive polish pickup order from February. I'm out of breath. We have one little bit of um, like press PR that was sent to me. It actually arrived today. This is the newest Disney polish from Splattered Paint Nail Lacquer. Um, they have new bottles as well, nice round ones. And this is called Daisy Duck. So she's recently done Mickey Mouse and Donald, and this is completing, uh, or adding to that, I should say, with Daisy. So it's a white curly base, and then you have purple glitters, pink glitters, yellow glitters, and mint glitters, all quite small and obviously in the Daisy colours. She's also including a bag of little pink bows to go with that, so you can either dump it in, you can use this as a nail art, however you want to. I think I'm going to mix mine in. I think the idea of the pink um, bows to, to add into that combination would just be really stunning and unique. Um, and that should be available by the time I put this video up. Okie dokie, we're on to some UK indies, which I'm very excited and proud of myself for buying because I've once said it's one of my aims this year to try a lot more UK indies. So a brand that I bought from before, and that is Danglefoot Nail Polish, um, Nail Lacquer, Nail Polish, Nail Polish. Um, and they are also in Polish Pickup. It's been great to see that a couple, two UK indies are now joining in with Polish Pickup. So if you see Danglefoot, they're representing the UK along with Arda's Nails. Um, so Danglefoot, the first one we have is called Narnia and this came out in a book collection that she did and they were all these super shifty polishes. So this is a beautiful green with a strong, strong, strong pink shimmer to it. Um, just so excited to wear these on my nails. The swatches look incredible, so very excited. And the other one is called Those Who Dance and Those Who Do Not. And this is a Drax from Guardians of the Galaxy inspired polish. And this is like a multi-chrome hollow, but on most of the pictures that I've seen, it looks more to be like a silvery light blue hollow. Um, and the name just really sold it to me. So I grabbed those two from Danglefoot. Oh, we also have some group customs and some of those, one of those is Danglefoot. So let's move on to those nicely. If you're part of the UK Facebook group, you might remember that last year we did a Colors by LaRoe group exclusive. This year we did two Indian 
indie brands and they made as a duo to buy. So the Danglefoot one is called the Pink Dangly and this is a bright super fuchsia pink holographic with also looks like a little bit of a purpley tinge to it and then we then have galaxy which is by prism polish and this is a multi-chrome which is mainly blue to teal and a little bit of purple in there um, i'm really sorry that i'm showing you these polishes that are limited edition and that you've missed i don't think i've shown many polishes in this video that are still available now i'm sorry i'm going from those so these, this is my hair polish. Hair polish doesn't exist anymore. I will be talking about this more in the RIP tag that Jess did recently. I'm going to do that video at some point. But hair polish is like one of those brands that I want them all and they don't exist anymore. So the first one is Cotton Candy Crush. And this is a beautiful lilac. And then we have lilac glitters in their indigo, pink and gold. Um, very excited. Like I say, I got these in a D stash, so I was very lucky. And the other one is called Peep Show Magique. And this is a beautiful bubblegum cotton candy pink with a ton of golden um, flakes in there. And it kind of looks like the ones that like Palish has been really doing recently, right, with the pastels with the flakes. So it's nice to see them, like I say, it, where the inspiration might have come from. I don't know. So the last two are a duo from Palish. And these were released quite exclusively. I believe they were for like, from like prototypes for other polishes that she's since come out with. And they are both based off a of kind of Luna Lovegood again from Harry Potter. So the first one is called Thestral and this is a very silver based hollow if that makes any sense. It is a bright blue but there's a lot of spectra flare in there. So it's going to be super holographic on your nails is what I'm hoping. So that was Thestral. And the one going with that is called Luna and this is a beautiful indigo with a strong blue shimmer and shift in there. Um, I think the no hollow... There might be some little bitty like silver flakies in there as well. That looks like there's something else. Just I'm just looking at that off camera, which probably didn't help any of you whatsoever. Um, but yeah, those are my polishes from this recent haul. Let me know what you've been picking up down below in the comments. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you later. Mm -hmm. Bye.